Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today I wanna to get real about what an orgasm feels like because this is an area where sex ed really let us down. We don't know as women what to expect when an orgasm happens. And for that reason, one of the most common questions I get from young women is, how do I actually know if I've had an orgasm? Or women will tell me, I think I've had one, but like, I'm not sure. Is there like a way of knowing? And the answer is yes, there are ways of knowing that you have had an orgasm. And by the time you finish watching this video, you are going to know for 100% certainty what an orgasm feels like and whether or not you've experienced one before. So if that sounds good to you, keep on watching. Today's video is brought to you by manscaped.com, the global leader in men's intimate grooming and hygiene. Get lucky this Valentine's Day with Manscaped's performance package. The performance package bundles some of Manscaped's most iconic products together, including the Lawn Mower 3.0, which is a waterproof trimmer designed for shaving your hair down there, featuring advanced skin safe technology so you never have to worry about nicking your balls. Plus the all new Weed Whacker, which is great for tidying up those stray nose hairs so they don't get in the way of an intimate Valentine's Day kiss. Manscaped's ball toner and ball deodorant so your girl doesn't have to deal with funky smells when you get it on. A set of disposable shaving mats, a free luxury travel bag and a free pair of anti-chafing boxes. This set makes an equally great gift to self if you're a guy who needs to scrub up so you can get lucky or as a present for the man in your life to ensure he's fresh for some adult action. My viewers get 20% off. Just hit the link under the video to access your discount and have a Valentine's to remember. So a little while ago, I made a video about what actually happens to the body during sex, because there are lots of really interesting and quite cool processes that happen to us during sexual arousal and orgasm, and then the kind of come down, pun intended, from that. And a lot of that video actually did go into some detail in terms of explaining the processes that happen to our body when we orgasm. So I will recommend checking that out as a starting point before you get into this video. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it up here. But if you have already seen that video, then let's get into talking about what an orgasm actually is. And when I say talking about what an orgasm is and what it feels like, I am talking about from a female perspective. I'm talking about for people who own vulvas and vaginas, what to expect from an orgasm. And like I said at the beginning of this video, it really is not something we get taught about. No one tells you what to expect when an orgasm comes along. My God, the puns are coming thick and fast in this video. I will try to keep a lid on them, sorry guys. But seriously, no one tells us what to expect. And so it really isn't unusual at all for women to just be confused about whether or not they've had one. Now, I do wanna first preface this by saying, you should never make orgasm the focus of sex or even the focus of masturbation. Both sex and masturbation are just amazing on their own. They're ways to make your body feel good, to get more confident in your body, to explore your sexuality and your turn-ons. And they don't need to result in an orgasm in order to be quote unquote successful. We have this kind of distorted idea that the whole goal of sex and the whole goal of masturbation is to have an orgasm. And so then if we don't have one, we consider it a failure. And that is really silly because the reality is women don't orgasm all the time, specifically during partnered sex. Research shows that while men tend to orgasm roughly 95% of the time they have partnered sex, for women, that number is just 63%. And so if you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself to get to orgasm at the end of sex, then you might be horribly let down and your partner might be horribly let down as well. So if you're a guy watching this who is partnered with a woman and you're feeling bad because your partner hasn't orgasmed every time you've had sex, please don't. The things you need to focus on and feel good about are all the other amazing things you do during sex, all the other amazing ways that we connect and I have lots of videos on those things on this channel. But for now, let's talk about orgasm because with all of that said, orgasms feel pretty freaking amazing. And I do want to say there is absolutely no mistaking when you've had an orgasm. So if you ever have had the thought, gee, was that an orgasm? I'm not really sure. It might've been an orgasm. 
hmm, then I can tell you, you haven't had an orgasm. Because when you have an orgasm, you will not have a single question. You won't be like, hmm, was that an orgasm? You'll be like, damn, I just had an orgasm. So, what should you expect from an orgasm? Well, first things first, there are some specific things that happen in the body that you can actually kind of listen out for. One of the main things that happens to a woman when she's getting ready to orgasm is a rush of blood to the genitals. And that's because right before orgasm, our genitals essentially swell up with blood, they get really engorged, and then that is around the time when we will tip over that edge. A lot of people call it like jumping off a cliff cliff or coming down on a roller coaster. It's a feeling of like getting to this really kind of tense peak and then coming off of it. And so that is what happens at the end of that swelling period. So you will feel like kind of just a rush going down to your genitals. For some women, it can feel like a sense of warmth going down to the genitals. For other women, it can feel like a tingling kind of sensation or just like a weird, funny kind of sensation you can't kind of put your finger on but you know that put your finger on there was potential there for another pun and i missed it <laughs> but but there are some times that women will have an experience where they're like I, I don't really i can't really describe it but i know it was just a more intense feeling around my genitals and that's what you're feeling you're feeling that blood flow rushing so that's kind of the first stage when you're just a about to orgasm and then the orgasm itself there is actually contractions that go on so there are a series of kind of rhythmic contractions that happen inside the vagina and it's basically kind of like your vagina doing this it will clench so sometimes your male partner might be able to feel when you're orgasming if they have their penis inside you then your vagina can clench around their penis and they can feel a bit of that clenching sensation and and if you are using like a dildo or a vibrator or even your fingers, you might be able to feel it happening there as well. So you will feel that and then for a lot of women, what can happen because there's like a real rush around this time of feel good hormones is you will just feel like an intense sense of just contentment, elation, you feel kind of euphoric, you just feel like it's a really quick, just happy feeling and again it's kind of a feeling that you can't put your finger on now i think one of the biggest disservices that like romantic movies movies with sex scenes and even porn one of the biggest disservices that they do us is they tell us that an orgasm is something that happens when a woman is like screaming out in pleasure and she's moaning oh god oh yes 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 Yes! And actually for the majority of women, when you climax, you won't scream and you won't moan. A lot of women when they climax are completely silent. They don't make a sound at all. One of the reasons we see a lot of moaning and screaming in sex scenes and in porn is because it's for entertainment. And so they want to kind of make it super obvious that an orgasm is happening. But if when you orgasm, you don't make any sound, that's totally normal and you shouldn't feel weird about that. A lot of times the reasons women moan during orgasm is because they're having sex with a partner and they want to let their partner know that they're getting off and moaning and screaming is a great way to let your partner know, hey, I'm coming right now and it feels really good. But you should obviously never feel pressured that you have to perform because there is no set way to kind of have an orgasm. For some women, they might be really kind of still during it. For other women, you might actually feel that, that those contractions are so strong in your vagina that you might feel some of your body starts to twitch or convulse. I've definitely had that one before. It's like your body is like having like spasms kind of and you like can't control it for a minute. I don't want women to watch this and feel like there is a certain way that you need to look, feel and act when you have an orgasm. What I want you to take away from this video is knowing that orgasms are a very specific sensation and for that reason, when you have one, you won't be questioning whether or not it's happened, you'll know it's happened. And just so you guys know that no two orgasms are exactly alike, I want to share with you now some different women's experiences of orgasm and then maybe as you're listening in, you can see which one you most relate to and write it in the comment section down below. It's like a really wonderful and powerful sneeze in your vagina. 
well. The kind of sneeze that you can sense building up for a while and then it happens and it is just the most satisfying sneeze and you hope that you have to sneeze again. I actually love that description of it because it is like a release. It's like electric dominoes are falling down in different directions under your skin. And that's good too because that kind of helps describe that tingly sensation that happens over your body right before you orgasm. It's a buildup of tension that arches your back and curls your toes, almost like a clenching feeling. And just when you think you can't take it anymore, suddenly all that tension is released and pulses throughout your body and it is the best relief. It's similar to your body falling off a cliff into a pile of tingling ecstasy. It's a sense of sensual release that you find yourself having no control over and letting yourself go because it's just too damn good. An earth shattering orgasm is one of a kind. Remember the first time you tried an avocado or ate avocado toast? That's the feeling of bliss and taste of deliciousness that an orgasm feels like. It's like sucking on hard candy and then all of a sudden you get to the center and it's that burst of flavor. Oh my gosh, what a great description. I would love for you guys now to have a go at describing what your orgasm feels like in the comment section down below. And if you're feeling brave, let me know. Have you had an orgasm before or are you still yet to have one. If you would like to learn how to have an orgasm and how to get your body to have an orgasm, because spoiler alert ladies, most women cannot achieve an orgasm through penetrative sex, and I talk about that a lot on this channel, then go up here and watch my video on how to orgasm, where I take you step by step through the process of having an orgasm. And go forth and have an orgasmic day. And before you do that, don't forget to go and hit that subscribe button because you're going to want more orgasmic content from me. I am here every Monday and Friday. Hit that notification bell as well, otherwise YouTube won't let you know when my videos are going live. Some of you guys have been commenting in the comments section that you haven't been seeing my videos, even though they go up every week, and that's because you're not hitting that notification bell. So go and hit that notification bell now so you never miss any of my content, and I'll see you all in the next video. Mwah.